Hey everybody, it's D with Sky 194. Stay double five. We're back here in Coach Dave's uh, Sprint Series here in, in Low Fuel Motorsports at Paul Ricard. And I'm outside pole again. <laughs> so that's good. Hope we can get a good start. Of course, I'm in the Lamborghini Huracan. Again, we've got a lot of McLarens in here. Again, I sighted on the on the uh, side of caution here, so looks like he's got good straightaway speed. Car on the right. Clear on the right. issue and you don't race with these you know I don't recognize these guys and you don't really know they're driving the way they drive Rush, just I can stay right here. I'm good. Come on, tires, get up temperature. Come on.
he must have like very low, low downforce. BMW's catching me. around them, but
set up.
building the fossil system so far. Lexus. You know, I just want to get finished, so I need to just think about the longer picture. I pulled away from the BMW a little bit. That's good.
BMW's coming quick. Best I could do. Said I don't want to wreck. Come on, he's draft. Alright, got a P3. Good race. Great race. That was a great race. You know, top three. We have some light damage at the rear of the car. Oh, okay. Thank you for hitting me. I didn't need that. Thank you. <laughs> great. Great, I'll probably get safety points against me on that guy has to come up and hit me but um why what I don't know but anyway I mean the top three I'll take um what can I say I mean I was hoping it would I always like to win but you know you got it that's my problem is sometimes you push too hard and you end up crashing and then that's why your ratings tank because you're just not getting good finishes. So. I guess somebody hit him. So, um, like I said, you know, you got to take what you get. And uh, that's the way it is. I was waiting for it to reset, but let's go over to setup. There it goes. I mean, I think it's a really good um, setup. So we got... Let's see. Let's go to the other because that's where my... Um, I'm sorry. Let's go to the... Because it's got the right temps. I haven't done anything. I haven't changed anything, so it's all the same. So 
got 25 2 left front, 25 5 left rear, 26 6 right front, and 26 4 right rear. The toe is negative 0 0.02 with the camber at negative 3.6 on the left and negative 3.5 on the right, and the casters at 10.4. The toe on the rear is negative 0.12 with the camber at negative 3 on the left rear and negative 2.9 on the right rear. Electronics are 3 and 4. Fuel, of course, I had 50 liters uh, when I did the race. Um, look at that. No graining or anything. No graining. Look at the wear. Absolutely perfect. Wow. That's one of the best I've seen. So, really happy with that. Mechanical got 6 on the anti-roll bar. Brake bias is 59. You could go down to 58, I think, but I never needed to do it. Um, but that's a no, no problem. Steering ratio is 11. Springs on the front are 190,000 with a bump stop rate of 700 and a bump stop range of 3 on the left and 6 on the right. And the springs on the rear are 164,000 with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of 10 on the left and 20 on the right. Any roll bar is 3 and the preload on the diff is 60. Shocks on the left front are 21, 14, 10, and 20. And on the right front, they're 20, 12, 12, and 20. On the left rear, they're 10, 5, 15, and 13. And on the right rear, they're 12, 6, 15, and 12. All dialed in by Motec. And they were pretty good. Not too bad. I mean, I always like them to be a little bit better. But they, they were still good. 56 in the front ride height. 61 in the rear with a 4 wing and a 3 and a 2 in the brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is a 5.4 to the positive. Um, as far as this goes, I qualified. I did not do anything. The only thing I changed was my fuel, and I knocked that down to three. That's it. I didn't do anything else. Um, just knocked my fuel to like 23 liters, 20 something like that, 20 something liters, so I could do like four or five laps or something uh, to get you know good gauge on the tire pressures, and I knocked this to three. That was it. Uh, I ran a 155.1, so almost my almost my uh, best for this car. Almost, I was only like a tenth of a second away. So again, and that's with no drafting or anything either. I had no drafting. I was up myself. So again, I think that's really good. But and I, the thing was, it was a little bit of a handful to catch at the end, and I didn't. I just didn't want to chance it. I didn't want to chance it because when you get mixed up with the draft. And you side by side with somebody or this or that, and they get the air off you, you end up losing it going through that fast right hander there. I've done it a hundred times, and I, I didn't want to be like that. So basically, I went for the conservative and just gave it one more click and, you know, gave it a little bit more. And I, I really still think that was the right way to go. I really think I was quicker in a lot of areas. I just couldn't get it around. Um, and then, of course, I make a couple mistakes, and then that just gives them the opportunity, you know, like the Lexus to get around me. Uh, or, or the McLaren to pull away a little bit. Um, so it's just, you know, some of that was just me, not the car. So I still think the car is good. And, you know, for a longer race, even if you were long, you know, going for a little longer as far as, um, you know, a longer stint, I mean, you, the wear is perfect. So I think for the long run, this would really be a good race. It's a good race setup. It has that balance. And that's what I like. So, again, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. I hope you like the video. Hope you like the race. It was a really good race. I'll, I would take top threes really all day long. Um, so, again, that's really, you know, my second podium in LFM. I'm really happy with that. I need to continue that here in, in the uh, competition server to get my rating back going the right direction. So, I appreciate it. And I hope you give me a like and subscribe. And, of course, the link to this setup, the same exact setup, will be in the description. So, you can, you know, try it. And, again, all my setups are free um, for you to try. Um, you know, no fees or anything. I do have a PayPal account if you want to support the channel that way. That's fine. It'd be great. I think anybody that does and or, um, so, you know, watching the video, liking it, subscribing, all those, you know, when you watch the whole video, even if it takes multiple times, that's supporting the channel too. So, again, all those are supporting. And I will thank you for everybody that has. And I hope you come back again and visit really soon. Y'all take care. See you.